Okay, so this plant I saw last when I was here, last time I was here. Couldn't really figure out what it was. Now it's a bit more obvious because now I'm seeing it. I did eventually figure out what it was. But what this is, this is Geranium thunbergii, a uh, member of the family Geraniaceae, one of the crane's bills. And none of them have that little blue, that little blue thing. I swear I saw in them last time. But uh, this is not native to here. This is native to uh, Japan. Not sure how they got here or why they're growing here, but I guess they're starting to pop up. So maybe they'll become a problem in a couple of years. Who knows? Probably. Of course, during the ACA, you get a lot of the uh, the uh, the uh, trifoliate leaves there. So palmate leaves with three lobes. You flip it over. Minutely fuzzy on the underside. Certainly fuzzy on the stems. So you get that. And then the big giveaway with all geraniums and how they get their common name, the crane's bill, is that, see that fruit. All right, that's the fruit right there. So you get it. Get up in there. Stigma's down in there somewhere. Gets pollinated. See, like this one has. These petals drop off. Get left with the sepals. And then eventually... It matures into something that looks like this. You get the seed, the seed pods. Oh shit! That's a massive praying mantis. Jesus! Can't remember the last time I saw a praying mantis out in the wild. This guy's like the size. This guy's the span of my hand. I don't want to get close to him. I don't want to freak him out either. Holy crap! Is he? Is he? Is he still with us? Is he dead? Oh yeah. Hey buddy. Oh, he's still alive. I think he's cold, so he's probably... It's pretty chilly right now. How about that? God, that... Easily... Easily, uh... Four inches long there. Oh, man. Yet another reason I should get more into entomology. Because you get some cool bugs up here. You get monarchs. You get some rare swallowtails. Not here up in the mountains. You get some rare swallowtails. And evidently, you get praying mantis. It's you get a praying mantis because it's one of them. You get praying mantises in October. Well, I think that's uh good as good a place as any to end it. Jesus. I just want to hang with this dude for a minute. Hey, why don't you uh because he sings these things, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna fuck with the praying mantis. Why don't you uh you know you don't wanna give us a little show? Go find a bug for you to eat. God, that's awesome. I'm sure someone somewhere knows what type of praying mantis that is. If you know anything about praying mantises, hit me up. What's this guy doing? How, how is he? I, I guess it hasn't really frosted yet. Or girl, lady. Do the males even get that big? Jesus. I've seen them before. Not that big, though. Oh, you're cool. You're really cool, and I love to hang out with you. I almost didn't see you there. I thought you were a leaf blade, but then again, I suppose it's exactly what you want, isn't it? You want everyone to think that you're a leaf blade. You blend right in. But I always see you. I always find the cool bugs, no matter how good they blend in. All right. Oh. Yeah, see, there's a juniper right there. That's what I was talking about. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll break this into a two-parter. I hope you uh, thought some of this was cool. Get a little insight don't have to stop botanizing just because it starts to get cold, even if you live in a temperate climate. It's the only really point that I wanted to get across to you. Oh yeah, well, now that I know that it's here, you can see these little these little beaks are everywhere. You can pick them apart like that. Oh, come here. Jeez, cut me, almost cut myself on a blade of grass. You can pick them apart like so. And then you see those are the seeds at the end. How they do that. Yeah. I think geraniums are kind of cool. I like that. I like that about them. I, I think that they're kind of interesting plants. Other people, you might think they're a little bit boring. Geranium maculatum is a super common one that's native that you'll see, you know, late late spring, early summer. Kind of going off everywhere. But I guess these guys just uh just tend to do their thing. I don't know. Geranium thunbergii, I, I get I guess, unless someone knows more about them. You tell me that's seems to be 
kind of a newcomer to the ecosystem. I could be wrong on that. Just, you know, I take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, again, this is just my hobby. God, that's a really cool praying man. So I didn't take a picture of him. I'm going to go back and take a picture of him. You don't need to see that. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a, are having a, uh, well, this video won't be out in fall. I don't know when this will come out. But I hope that you enjoyed your fall and that um, you're enjoying these videos. If not, be sure to uh, vocally complain and uh, your comments will be addressed in the order they are received. And I think that's just about all I got. Have a good one. I came back over to the praying mantis. I didn't even notice this guy when I came over the first time. What the heck's going on over here? Look at this spider. A st Is this the League of Villains? What the hell? I don't know anything about spiders either, but I sure do love them. I didn't even see the spider. So that, so there you go. Obviously, I don't see everything when I come over now, do I? No cool type of spider that is. She's beautiful. Can I get a good view of her? She's kind of, she's kind of upside down, so it's a little hard. God, if you know, oh, she's bouncing because the wind's blowing. If you or someone you know knows anything about insects or arachnids of the Northeast, please hit me up. I'd love to talk about them and hear about any sort of rare or interesting ones we got. God damn. With the praying mantis. I hope he's not caught in the web. He doesn't look like he's caught in the web. I don't I don't think that you're you're a big spider, my love, but I don't think you're gonna win against a four inch long praying mantis. I think that uh, the praying mantis would be a little too fast for you. Good thing I came back to take this picture. Jesus Christ. God damn, I, I literally just can't seem to run out of cool stuff to look at today. Got a weirdo here. Oh, hey, Mr. Cricket. You got a member of the uh, family Polyglacia here. You got a, oh, geez, what is it? Polygala. I don't remember. Almost looking like a pea. And a different family. Polyglacia, the milk warts, they call them. And uh, just another good indicator that you're on some uh, shallow acidic soil. I think this one, I just. Vernalis, I think, Polygala Vernalis, field milkwort, common common one. Uh, yeah, some people, this is one of the ones I guess people confuse them with, they think they're orchids or something, but they're not. Just a cute little indicator play. I'd love to know more about them. I think that there's a Polyglacia, has got some pretty interesting plants in it. You can see the little reproductive structure down in there inside the flower. Again, kind of looking like a pea, but not quite. These guys don't have any basal leaves, huh? Just the little calling leaves up the stem, it looks like. Yeah. If I have any fun facts about the family that I didn't research, I knew I knew that it was growing here. I almost forgot about it. There's a few of them. And this seems to be the only spot that they're growing. <clears throat> this is actually one of the spots that apparently people claim to see Spiranthes growing at one point. But uh, I, I came through here pretty thoroughly. And they weren't really growing over here. Which good, nice polygala. Kind of looks like a clover. You could walk right by it thinking it was a clover. But, uh, nope. And, uh, you know, you see the you see the clover leaves next to it, you start getting some funny ideas, which, as you can see, this guy's got a completely different thing going on. All right, that's really got to be it. Oh, I got to get up on out of here. If I don't edit this video down, it'll probably end up being like 40 minutes, but yeah, maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. What do you guys like? The longer or the shorter videos? <laughs> Give me some feedback. A couple of you really do interact well, and I appreciate you. I may or may not have cut out a part where I was making, not making fun of, but I was critiquing someone's critique of my video. Don't get offended. I don't, I don't, I don't mean it to be, I don't mean to be mean about it. I'm just telling you that that's a, sometimes you got to have a little faith in me, please. Just, just a little, just a little bit of faith. Oh, shit. We got an Oro Banky here. Got a parasite or a hemiparasite. Uh. Is this a smooth false foxglove whose common name I, I currently forget? I think it is. Definitely. Uh, Oro Banky, though. Or is this a, a hedge sop, maybe? Something from a... Uh, I don't know. Let me... Uh, let me let me let me figure this out real quick and go back. I'll get back to you. You can't you can't keep me out of you can't stop again. Don't don't ever stop botanizing. 
I didn't even know this was here. I saw the Polly Gala last time I was here. I didn't see this though. Let me check in. Let me look at that real quick. Okay, so my uh, my first assumption was correct. This is Agalinus, or a species of Agalinus. I think it might be Agalinus papuria, purple false foxglove. Could be uh, one of the other ones too. But it's a uh, member of partial parasite. Oh, look at those hairs up in there. He's supposed to have a little stigma tongue sticking out somewhere. Maybe he doesn't yet. Those are the anthers up there. Look at the hairs in there. Or up in case he is a family of obligate parasites. They all parasitize at least a little bit. And they all, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them have that uh, scooped out sort of inflorescent shape. There's a fruit on one. And yeah, maybe he's already been pondered. Maybe that's why the Maybe the stigma drops off or something. I I don't know. I'm talking to my ass. I don't actually know for certain. But uh, yeah, I was my first assumption was correct. It's a the false foxglove. Agalinus is the genus, definitely. I think Agalinus purpurea, but you know I could be wrong. And kind of the uh, the only one I see growing amongst all these different uh, polyglacious plants. Well, I mean obviously the asters, but the walked right by it. You would assume. The same thing. You still got red clover going off, so we get the red clover, get the agalinus, and you got the polygala. You kind of get a couple of you know little little some purple some purple bullshit we'll say, growing down there. And I wouldn't necessarily blame you for kind of walking by, but that's why you gotta pay attention. But Jesus Christ, this video could be over an hour long. Uh, who cares? You'll be watching it. You'll know. You'll know what it is if I cut it down or if I split it up into a couple parts. You'll know. Believe me. All right. Anyway, I got to get up out of here. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Um, still plenty to see. And I think I proved my point. There's still plenty to see in October. Um, just because it's not the middle of summer doesn't mean there's not interesting stuff going on. All right. You take care of yourself now. Closing the video down for the third time. I, I don't think anything else could stop me. I just, you know, what are you going to do? All right. Enjoy yourself. Come back if you like. Leave a comment if you like. And uh, most importantly, I'm getting ready to basically sh shut these down because one way or the other, you know, I got a couple more videos planned. Talk I want to talk about Baccarus, Mammalifolia out there on the Cape. And I'll probably go check out the... Uh, game of cypress swamps to get out there too and then i think the last video for the year will be uh on witch hazel which uh blooms in november so we'll be able to see that weird flowers on that guy interesting plant mammalus virginiana and uh then it will be the winter and hopefully i will be snowboarding and uh probably just editing a bunch more of these videos so I have plenty of time to uh, map out, um, you know, what it is that I want to do for next year. We're going to go down. I'd like to go down to Jersey. I'd like to go down to Pennsylvania, Jersey, you know, Pine Barrens. See those, uh, some of those swamps. I'd love to go down and see a Taxodium swamp down in like Maryland or Virginia. I'd love to go see uh, the Serpentine Barrens in Pennsylvania. I haven't done any botany in Vermont. I haven't done any botany in Connecticut either, for what it's worth. Oh, hey, look, you got one last, one last hypericum flower hanging on there. But uh, you know, we'll get there when we get there. But I'm 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 cutting this video off now. Gone on far too long. I'm gonna have so much to edit. Oh, woe is me. And um, yeah, the next one should be me back out on the Cape, unless something happens. And we'll go look at a. The tree sunflower, probably the only arborescent sunflower um, f family member we get in the northeast, Baccarus mammalifolia. Uh, the, uh, I think, what do they call it? Coyote bush? I think that's what they call it, one of the common names, coyote bush. So I'll see you then, and uh, take care of yourself, all right? Have a good one.